Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. Today we have as our guest, Adam Minahan, Minahan and David Niles. They've been on my show. I think this is the third time we've had them on our show. These are a couple men I just really uh, love, and we're going to go deep. They have a, a, their own radio show, and they have a ministry uh, to men. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. It's so cool to see uh, that God is raising up men, and there's these, just these gnarly men that I'm seeing these days that are just really gritty and really want to, uh, really are serious about their faith. And actually, it's interesting the number of non-Catholics, uh, Protestants that are coming to the church, men that are just like, I just want, to, I just want the truth, man. I just want, and I want all of it. Um, you remember when when Nehemiah came back to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls that had fallen down. And uh, he came and he saw, oh my gosh, look, look, he began to challenge the men, rebuild the walls. And how did they do it? They rebuilt the wall. You, if you read the book of Nehemiah, it's actually kind of boring because the first several chapters, it just talks about how a man and his family rebuilt the wall from this section to that section and from this section to that section. It goes around like in a clock and basically says it's the man and his family that rebuilt the wall the walls that are torn down. And we know right now there's a breach in society. We know there. I, we know there's that sense that there's a breach in the wall. And you know where it's running? It's running right through your living room. You have to start right there to begin to rebuild the wall. It's the man and his family. It's the man in the domestic church that are, key, are the key to, to rebuilding the wall and to restoring uh, the sense of rightness in our, in our land. In Hawaii, we have a, a saying, uh, Uamai keo ka'ani ikapono. By righteousness, the land is established uh, in in posterity, and that's what we as men. It's up to us to do this. No one else is going to do it. So that's why I have my friends. I've loved these guys. It's Adam Minahan and David Niles. I've had them on my show, and I've been in your on their show too. And I like them particularly because they sent me a uh, a whiskey tumbler one time, and I think we shared cigars too. So <laughs> welcome to the show, you guys. Hey, Thanks. there. It's great to be here. Long time no talk. Good to hear from you. Uh, you guys, you may not know this. A lot of you may not know it, but the show is not only on the EWTN, but we also uh, broadcast it on all kinds of podcast apps. And we also have the video version on YouTube, Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure YouTube. And if you could see these two guys right now, they've changed a lot since I last saw them. I, um, you know, Adam is wearing is wearing a cat a kitty filter over his face, and, <laughs> and Adam is wearing a puppy dog filter. So, yeah, you guys look better this way. You got you guys got to check out the YouTube version so you can I see what I'm talking about. This. I'm not a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, welcome to the show, you guys. I'm just kidding, you guys. They really they're not really not you know wearing those filters, but you should have. Should have been ahead of the curve. Probably. Probably Bear, if I knew how to do that, I totally would have. <laughs> hey, what's the name of your radio show, first of all? And where is it airing? And where can people find it? The name of our show is The Catholic Man Show. Uh, it can be found on Oklahoma Catholic Radio at, on Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, and just on your local podcast application, The Catholic Man Show. So is it basically about me then, The Catholic Man? Is it about me? Yeah. Yeah, you know, Adam and I were were sitting here and like, you know what? We just need to make a show about bear. <laughs> I mean, just replicate it off the of bear. The world needs more bear. Yes. Yeah, can't get enough. And uh, you guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm wearing a, a teddy bear uh, filter, too, over my face. So it's, <laughs> it's, this is exciting television. But I, I love you guys. I love I love the way you guys are so genuine and so real. Um from time to time, when we've done this, you've, you've you, on your radio show. Do you guys still always uh, review a manly beverage? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. That's the first thing we do on every uh, on every episode. What would you say is the best two or three manly beverages that you've sh you've shared over the last year or so? Well, <laughs> so whether it's true or not, um, Lafroig Ten Year has to be on the list. Just what because, is that? Is that a beer? Uh, Lafroig. Yeah, Lafroig is a Scotch. It's oh. a, uh, an Isla Scotch. Very smoky, very peaty. It's a, 
it's a drink that just oozes manliness, really. Mm -hmm. um, the first time I ever had it in my life, I said, wow, that's the thing I've ever had. Uh, and then I got to to enjoy scotch a little bit more, and I, I tried it about a year after and said, hang on a second, that's delicious. <laughs> um, so de definitely Lefroy 10 has got to be on our personal list. Yes, uh, we actually just had one recently called Wyoming Whiskey. It's, yeah. a, it's a bourbon, and it is really good. It's complex. It is a... And yeah. it's not that expensive. You I know, really enjoyed that one. Barry, you know this. The whiskey game is expensive. If you want to get into enjoying, you know, fine you know, liquors, it's it's expensive. It's not yeah. cheap. But uh, Wyoming whiskey is a really good one. And it was $40. less than $40, yeah, about right? About $40 a barrel, a bottle. A barrel? <laughs> That'd be you, awesome. You, yeah. you just fill it <laughs> in your bathtub. You just keep it in your bathtub, right? Just the, pour yeah, it in yeah, there. Yeah. Keep you bring it, it out in a fork. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but, no, we, we yeah, have there's, a, there's a couple... We have a Paniolo uh, whiskey here in Hawaii. It's uh, Paniolo means cowboy. It's a it's a Hawaiian cowboy. So we actually have one here too. Every now and then I have these. My, some of my buddies get together. We have cigar night, and and one of the guys, Chris Goki, who's a Navy helicopter pilot, turned us. He's not even from here, and he knew about our Paniolo whiskey. So he's been bringing that uh, for our oh, cigar. Nice. Actually, we're going to go uh, deep sea fishing with him on Friday. Uh, and then he's then he's leaving Hawaii. It's it's kind of sad movies for him, but it's good for us because there's more waves, you know. And the, right. and the and the yeah, average sure. IQ ever average IQ of the Hawaiian Islands is going to go up as soon as he leaves too. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I just I just dig on that, you know. So so um, and then are you and, and I see behind you people. You got to watch this on the YouTube channel. I see a humidor back there that must hold a thousand cigars. How many cigars does it hold? You got it. A yeah. thousand. Uh, four thousand. Oh, four thousand. Yeah. Holds, uh, holds up to four thousand. <laughs> four thousand. Yeah. But you're, basi 4, you're basically using it for your children's coloring books or no? No, there's actually right. cigars yeah. in there. It's Those so are cool. all empty boxes. It's, it's uh, <laughs> There's maybe eight cigars in there in real life. Uh, we found this thing on Facebook Marketplace for yeah. a song. And wow. so. It was like one of those things that you can't. You can't pass at the, out. At the time, you just could not buy it. Yeah. We didn't realize it was going to be that big it's pretty big. but hey we have it yeah. yeah you have it now now it's it's kind of like that they always say um ask them if they have a bird and they go no if you give them a bird cage then after a while they got to get the bird right because their they friends come in the... hey where's your bird did your bird totally. die what's going on with your bird you know so you got the humidor right. so i'm already hassling you you know about you need more cigars in there but you got what's cool no about what's cool about you guys is that um god uh you know, don't take for granted that God brings certain people into your life, uh, mm. friendships or acquaintances, and and it, it, it's a blessing. And, and cultivate those relationships. In the last uh, several months, uh, I, I've found myself, I've made a list of all these people in my life that have meant so much to me, both of them. No, but about 50 or 50 more people. And I started dialing people up and talking with them that I just kind of realized how important they were in my life. And the two of you have this really uh, solid friendship. How, how did you got, How did your friendship develop? And then how did you start the Catholic Man Show? Yeah, so we've been best friends since we were five years old. Uh, we grew up together, went to kindergarten together. We went to high school together. Our, fr our families went to uh, small, or the, the same church. We went to small faith groups together. We were basically best friends since, since the get-go. Uh, and then after college, we moved in together because neither one of us could afford having, you know, paying rent. So we, we, we moved in together. And that's when our, our friendship really started blossoming because, it's, because we started taking our, our, our faith more seriously. And yeah. the foundation of our, our friendship was, was no longer kind of like the utilitarian friend or utility friendships that Aristotle talks about, but more of the authentic friendship mm. uh, rooted in Jesus Christ. And so that's when our, our friendship really started taking, uh, going to a different level. Uh, then we were able to start a Catholic radio station together by accident. And then that led into starting a, a radio show so called you Catholic Man Show. Okay, so you, so let's back up a little bit. So at one point, <laughs> one, one of you, one of you started dating or got married or something like that. Right. Yeah. So, did, so did that I, mess up the relationship for a while? Like, sorry. No. <laughs> no. No. So, so I got married, and the, so Adam and I were living together, and he got married, and I was like, yeah, it. Uh, his wife, his beautiful wife, Haley, 
I was like, Haley, it's totally cool if you live with us. That's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, in fact, that would be great, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and that, actually, it was, it was great. Um, then, as often happens, as often as the case, uh, they, were, they were pregnant very soon after, and that's when I said, you know, I need to find my own place, I think. <laughs> I, think I think it is time. Yeah. yeah. So and, he moved out, and then what ended up happening? I moved actually across the street from him, and so he got married. We and so now both of our, all of our kids are living across the street from each other, becoming friends. Yeah, yeah. Watch out for those cars, you guys. Hey, we're talking with um, two two of my favorite people, Adam Minahan and uh, David Niles. They're the they're the founders of a radio show, and uh, great. They're the, out of their friendship, really has grown this this powerful ministry to men, the Catholic Man Show. Um, and, they, and they also have uh, the Council of Man, uh, a secret Facebook group. We'll talk, we can talk about that when we get back. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We'll be back in a moment. This is Daniel LaBoon Markham with another episode of Country Up. Bootstraps. Pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Kind of an odd scene, if you know what I mean. How is anyone supposed to pull on their bootstraps to get themselves up off the ground? That just don't work. Of course, it's one of them hyperboles that is exaggerating of the truth to make a point. It means to get on with fixing your own bad situation by gutting it out and making do on your own. Well, there are plenty of wimps that need to quit whining, quit using others, and learn to pull harder on their own bootstraps. No doubt about that. Seems to me more folks today need a stint in the Marine Corps or Peace Corps or a long season of long days on a fish tender. But even a hard-bitten cowboy knows, no matter how resourceful and tough he is, some things just can't be done without getting some help. Got a serious trigger puller army veteran friend who goes by Xavier. Old X is as busted up in more places in his body than ten other wounded warriors combined. X is as tough as they come. Yet, his pride doesn't get in his way to ask for help when he's needing it. Some things his body will just not let him do no longer. The Apostle Paul was as tough an old codger as they come. Went through boo-coo tight spots more than any other man I've read about. Yet, he clearly recognized his need for the Lord's help many a time and asked for the same of others now and then. Suggest we all get toughened up like Paul, but not so much that we are foolish to think we can always get it done on our own. Meanwhile, grab your bootstraps and pull. This is Daniel the Boone Markham at CountryUp.org on a journey a few miles this side of heaven. Hey man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at DeepAdventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. Mahalo for your kokua in supporting us. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to you, our listeners, for supporting the Bear Wozniak Adventure radio show at deepadventure.com. We would not be able to bring you our radio show with its uniquely powerful and gritty outreach without your help. You can become part of our pack. You can support our ministry by going to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak or by just going to deepadventure.com and clicking on the Patreon link and become a part of our outreach. That's deepadventure.com. Once again, mahalo for your kokua. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak Adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Show. I got to talk for a moment 
um, you know, we have these two really manly men on my show, Adam Minahan and David Niles. But I want to talk for a moment to the mama bears. Um, you know, my son Jeremiah came by the other day, oh, a few months ago, and he goes, hey, Dad, remember when we were in Montana? We had our cabin up there and those grizzly bears, which show up every now and then, and uh, how gnarly the mama bears were. You know, my dad actually had an encounter where he accidentally was he was hunting and stepped between a grizzly and, and a, a, a sow and her cubs. Bad idea. You know, he was able to casually kind of walk backwards and look uh, and look meek. And uh, th- thankfully, he had a uh, his rifle. But when he got back to his pickup and went to unload the bullet, he realized he had just spent the last bullet uh, in, in, in shooting this elk that he, this grizzly had taken from him. And uh, he just started shaking all over. You don't mess with a mama bear. And so I just want to affirm you mama bears out there who um, who are fighting the good fight. You're praying that women will ask me, what can I do? I'll, you know, I pray for my, my husband or my sons or my brother-in-law. Um, what else can I do? For you know, for a lot of you know, the most first of all, the most powerful thing. It's not like all you can do is pray the rosary. That's like the most significant thing you can do, is is choose someone, and pray a novena for them, and then choose someone else and pray a novena for them. And we see you. And when people talk to me um, about ministry, I always say it's those women that when I walk in the church, when Cindy and I walk in the church, and we see that they're already there, and they have a wedding ring on, but they're alone. And they're praying the rosary. Our, our heart goes out to you, but I need to let the mama bears out there know that your prayers are what runs this ministry. We we're fully aware that you're the ever ready batteries that that run your prayers. And so maybe it's not a direct thing, but your prayers for your the men in your life uh, are we feel what is propelling our ministry. And I'm sure it's also behind the ministry of Adam Minahan and David Niles, the Catholic Man Show, and also their uh, secret Facebook group, the the, the Council of Men. Um, so we just want to thank you guys. Oh, and, and to the Mama Bears, you can go to our website, deepadventure.com, and you can become a part of what we're doing. You can support us. You can, you can join the Mug Club, and we just got the coolest thing in. Someone had, had just sent us 48 stuffed holy biker Catholic bears. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyone who, any, you know, don't, a Holy Spirit action plan. So any of you who become mama bears, uh, we'll send you one of the stuffed uh, holy, it's a motorcycle biker bear, a stuffed bear, that Catholic bear. That's all, that's all I can say. So uh, go, go to our website, deepadventure.com, and get more involved. Hey, Adam and, and, and David, thank you for being, being here. So you're talking story about, so now, so you just kind of accident in the middle of what you said, you said you just kind of accidentally started a Catholic radio show. Radio, radio, or it's radio station. Radio station. Correct. Just yes, kind of accidentally, accidentally. Yeah. It, we were minding our own business, and then all yeah. of a sudden we woke up and I owned a radio station. Blacked out for a second, and then yeah. when we, next thing I knew we had a radio station. Actually, just I'll tell you the story just briefly. I was at Adam's house. This is right after I had moved out, mm-hmm. and I was at Adam's house just hanging out, and I got an email from this guy, and I showed Adam because it's the weirdest email I'd ever received. It said, Dave. I have a crazy idea for a new radio station in Broken Arrow, but you have to call me tonight if we're going to pull this off. Jeff. And and I, I told Adam, like, look at this email. I have no idea what he wants, but I'm sure it's money. And the thing about me, <laughs> he said, I don't have any money. <laughs> that was certainly true at the time. Yeah. And, but Adam, Adam was the one who said, just call him back, see what he wants. And so I did, and he started going into all this stuff about there's this window in the FCC, it closes you know, like very, very soon, you, we need someone to incorporate themselves. And so after a few minutes on the phone, Adam and I were incorporating ourselves. Uh, LegalZoom.com or something, huh? Right. Yeah. Like on the Secretary of State website. Oh, you went direct. An, okay. That's yeah. Cool. Filing yeah. for an incorporation. And like, literally then, like next thing we know, we had a radio station. It was kind of crazy. Was it Was it one of those special low frequency ones or what was it? Because I, yes, I know there was yes, a push so there the for you. A low power FM station. Oh right? my yeah. god! Oh, that is so cool. That is just so yeah. cool. And now we run a, a, a translator here in town that uh, it's a high power amplifies the signal. So it's the same know, station, the but it tra- but now you've got a, a, a booster type that really yeah. sends yeah. it out. And yeah, what's the yeah. name of the radio station? St. Michael Radio. And what town is it in? 
Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've heard, on Tulsa time. I've heard that Tulsa. So you guys out, the, you know, this, this story that they've just told me, I've heard it a hundred times. Um, that's the way the Lord built built this beautiful uh, uh, the, the the terrestrial radio stations. It was like 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 the Holy Spirit tapped someone on the shoulder and go, "Hey, you got a moment?" And next thing you know, <laughs> they're stepping out in faith. And so, so um, this ministry of theirs, I, first thing I want to say is, how can they financially support you or your radio station? Because uh, it, it, it's just amazing the, the step of uh, the courage that it took to do that. But it takes funding. How can people support what you're doing? Yeah, Bear, I really appreciate that question. Uh, please go to stmichaelradio.com. You can make a donation there. Actually, right now we are uh, in the middle of a campaign. Um, the translator that we use to actually get the signal across the whole town of Tulsa because a a low, the other one we have is a low power FM station. It's it's not going to cover Tulsa. It's a big it's a big town. We're actually buying the translator from a gentleman, um, and so we are trying to raise money right now. Stmichaelradio.com. St. Michael Radio. St. Michael Radio. And, and how much yeah. do you guys have to raise? Three hundred fifty thousand. Three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? But and just we're getting and yeah. we're getting and, and we're getting close. We're getting so close. And the Praise awesome thing is, is, once we get it, man, it will like solidify Catholic radio in Tulsa for like generations to come. So yeah. we're just so we're we're so excited about it. That's just it's just mind blowing. That I mean, I, I would I mean the, the the faith that you guys have to move out like that and to see, you know, we. My friend Jason Jones and I, we call it Holy Spirit Action Plan. You know what I'm talking about. Like, all of a sudden, it's just yeah. like, that's what I'm doing today. This is the, this yep. is the detour in the road, and this is what the Lord wants me to do. And, and, then you, and then you have a real heart. By the way, I want to come back and speak at the Tulsa Conference one of these days when, when they start having conferences again, I guess. But, yeah. but um, tell, tell me about um, then how you developed the concept of the, the radio show came first and then came the council of men the secret facebook group can you talk about how those things came to be and what those are about yeah so we decided that because we have this radio station we decided like well now that we own a radio station i guess we get to kind of do whatever we want with the station so we run uh the quality programming of ewtn and then we threw in a a radio show that we started we didn't have to have permission because we owned it so we we kind of just based it off of one of the men's groups that we, we we have it we call it spirit and smoke where we get together men oh get i together, know that. i met we, the, i met a gentleman that i think helped start right. that right what's his yeah, name yeah, again? yeah yeah ken. Ken, ken sabbath yeah oh yeah that's right um so and honestly bear when we were doing this the reason was we were looking at the the lineup that ewtn has and it, it is really great uh but there's a lot for women you know that like specifically reach out to women and we said, there's not a lot that really just specifically reach out to to men. There's Bear Wozniak's show, and that's well, and uh, kind of blessed to play. I don't, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. but th that's kind of it, you know. And it just seemed like there we needed more. Yeah, absolutely. Here here in town, and it was originally just going to be a local program that only aired locally. We had no no aspirations beyond our own immediate hometown. I want to shelf my show and I, and I want to do your show. I mean, I love your show. <laughs> because, but you know, I just, I just, I just love, I just love what you guys do. And I, and uh, and so that, so then comes the radio show, and then uh, then you had this vision of your community. You you build you 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 have a desire to build community, and so you have this secret Facebook group which we talked about. And I I started a version for for my followers, kind of based mm -hmm. on what you guys were doing. So tell tell us about the Catholic the Council of Men and how people can participate in that. Yeah, so I mean, once we started the Catholic Man Show, we started get we threw it up as a podcast, and we started getting traction. Like it was weird. I remember telling Dave one day, Dave, there's somebody in Boston that is listening to our show. Like really? we were like blown away because you know originally it was just supposed to be for Tulsa, and then we you know we threw it up online and threw it up on a podcast. And so as it continued to grow, we realized that well we're we're kind of striking a nerve. We're hitting a need that that was needing to be hit. And so we said, well, if there's p other people out there, they're like us, let's get them all together. Let's, you know, iron sharpens iron, let's bring them all together. And so uh, in order to be a council of man member, you, have, you go to patreon.com slash the Catholic man show and it supports the show. Dave and I don't make any money on the show. We roll all the money back into the show. So we don't take any, any money for ourselves um, in that aspect. But so that, so once you do that, then you can be I'm a council man member. You get to the private Facebook group. You get the sweet whiskey glasses like you were talking about. I know, about. dude. And mine broke about a year ago. I just... So oh, sad. We'll send you, we'll send, we'll send, you got to tell us. We'll send no, you I, actually, I broke, I broke six of them, you know, unfortunately. 
<laughs> so if you need to send um, me six. We, we literally no. <laughs> order those 500 at a time. Yeah. Really? So, you do? That, it was, yeah, that's yeah. so cool. Um, the Council of Man, we're talking th- with uh, Adam Minahan. Here comes my beautiful bride just walked in the door. Adam Minahan and David Niles there. They accidentally started a radio show in Tulsa, St. Michael Radio, and then they accidentally started the, the Catholic uh, Man Show, and they actually started the Council of Man, a secret Facebook group this is bear wasnick we, we actually kind of accidentally have to go to a break right now but we'll be right back with more of the bear wasnick adventure aloha this is bear wasnick deepadventure.com coming to you with a deep adventure moment i'm in my home of waikiki beach Earlier today, my beautiful bride, Cindy, and I paddled out, nice head-high surf, paddled into some beautiful waves together. We tandem surfed together. You may not know this, but I'm a world champion tandem surfer. And Cindy and I paddle together. We get up together. She turns and faces me. I put her in a high overhead lift, and we surf the waves like that. And I've always thought that tandem surfing is a great example of what it means to be a soul in love with Jesus. We paddle really hard hard together. To me, that's that determination. And to me, paddling is like praying. You have a vision, you pray, and we pray together. And things happen when a husband and wife pray together. And then you paddle in. And then we get up together. And when we get up, she gets up and she comes back towards me. And I pull her back towards me. And she rests her head on my chest, kind of like the beloved, like John did with Jesus in the Last Supper. And like the beloved does in the Song of Solomon, resting on the the bed of Solomon that she's being carried. She rests her head and she trusts in me and she can feel my movement on the surfboard and she flows with my movement. But then there comes the moment in our our walk with Jesus. We paddle hard in prayer. We drop in fully committed to Jesus into a big wave. We get up and we rest in him and trust in him. But then there's that moment when she turns and she leaps and I lift her in an overhead lift. That leap of faith is what so many of us just never get around to and it's where the adventure begun you spend time with the Lord you you given your life to the Lord but he's nudging you to do something and you know what it is there's a calling on your life maybe it's a little thing he's asking you to do right now that will lead to bigger things or maybe it's a thing that seems too big for you but believe me the adventure begins when you depart from the wide path and take that leap into the deep adventure that God has for you this is Bear Wozniak from deepadventure.com Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to notredamefcu.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. Men, yes, we mean you. Go to deepadventure.com and check out Bear's Man Cave, a men's only Facebook group. Join the pack with other men as they challenge and inspire one another to manly virtue. Plus, you can dialogue with us in our regular video chat meetups. Plus, get your exclusive content. Join at deepadventure.com. That's deepadventure.com. Aloha. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak, and we want to invite everybody to go to our website. We got a kind of a cool thing going on there where if you sign up for our weekly newsletter, which you want to get, um, you get a free uh, ver- a free version of our audio book, my most recent one, uh, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. And the weekly email is really cool because in that weekly email, I write a weekly blog. And then we use, and then we also have a special blog. Some, sometimes I write it. Sometimes we have a guest. It's just for our mama bears. And then we have uh, the weekly video version of our radio show. You get early. And uh, I also want to invite you to go to our website, deepadventure.com. Check on support us because if you become a supporter, I think the uh, the Mug Club or the Bears Man Cave level, you get all. Um, right now we have 22 episodes to share with you of Long Ride Home. 
eight of those episodes haven't even aired yet on EWTN. So you're getting the director's cut. So you get you get early access months and months before the TV show airs. And the radio show, you you actually, because we record it, you get a video version of that like a month or so before it airs too. So we're like, we're like, um, like Adam and David here, you know, we, this ministry isn't something that we, you know, I have my own, I don't come to this ministry to, to, to be funded, uh, to, to make money. I don't make any money out of this, but we do need funding to make all this stuff happen. So any support like that helps. And, uh, we're with, we're with, da- we're with David, uh, Niles and Adam Minahan, uh, two, two, uh, they, they have a, sh- the show they named after me, the Catholic man show. It's probably about me, <laughs> <clears throat> but you guys now lately, I, I remembered a couple years ago. I said, we got it. You guys got to write a book. I said, why don't we write a book together? But it, it did just wasn't the, wasn't what the Lord was doing. But now finally, Finally, you guys, it looks like you have a book. We're not going to say if you have a book deal yet or not, but it sounds like you might. But what, what's the what's the name of the book you guys are coming you're working on or coming out with? Well, I mean, what is the name? Of the book? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's kind of like you know, it's a working title, right? I mean, Barry, you, you understand how this is. You can have all these ideas, and yeah. then the publisher says, eh, "No, we're going to do we're going to do something else." But uh, um, right now, it's a, a uh, living the domestic church living in the yeah. domestic church yeah. you got to change it's all it about the domestic church. you got to change and it. yeah we all, we wrote it with our wives <laughs> as well oh that's cool uh, right yeah uh, so so it's uh, it's all all four of us me and my wife and dave and his wife we all wrote it together so. do you write in in individual voices or as couples or is it just is it just a collaboration it, it's a little bit of everything yeah, you know there's the there's a couple of them that dave and i did ourselves then our wives did themselves and then we kind of did as couples, and so but but when we read when we read it, will we know who the voice is that we're reading, or is it is it a, a, a total collab? We don't know who wrote what. It's a kind of a no, total you collaboration. Won't you won't know. No, uh, it's no. a secret. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it's all the good, if it's really good, it was probably our wives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we got to come up with an. You guys, we're gonna tell people who listen to this. You write to. Uh, where, where can they reach you guys? CatholicManshow.com. Go there, and you can, they can contact you, right? Yeah, and give them a title for their book because he's got to got it's got to get more something to grab people more than that. Then maybe that's your subtitle or something. But you know, my first book that came out, it was called Soul Surfer, and then Bethany Hamilton book came out like right was we were about to publish, and then we'll call it the Wave, and then um, and the Laird Hamilton's book, the Wave was published like a week later. So you know, who knows what's going to happen with your title? But you guys write to these guys and you tell them what's a good title. Um, uh, uh, in regards to the domestic church, why are you writing about this? The, the dom- what I do tell we- you what, have them have tweet us. You can find us, Catholic Mansion, yeah. on Twitter. Have them tweet, have tweet us, us yeah. what they think our book title should be. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. How men should run their households, how they are in charge. Just kidding. <laughs> it scared you guys for a while. That, that would uh, definitely be controversial. That, that would definitely uh, uh, throw it out there. And I no. have my wife's permission to say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so dig in with me, guys. What is what is this? What sure. what are the things you're finding in this book to, that are important to to talk about? You know, uh, one of the things that was just really uh, inspiring us to write was the importance of the liturgy, and how um, there's you know. If you if you scan the Catholic landscape, there are many varied opinions on the liturgy. What is it? Is is the Latin Mass better than the Novus Ordo? Or you know all kinds of things. And we were talking about, you know, there's legitimate debate to be had here. But what gets left out of the conversation is this aspect of living the liturgy at home. Mm. You know that the liturgy should affect the way we live our lives outside of the church building. Um, You know, a solemnity, you should know it's a solemnity based on the things that you do at home. You know, your daily life should be affected. You should be, you should be doing things differently on a solemnity than, you know, on Ash Wednesday or, uh, you know, uh, a day of, you know, Friday and Lent, for instance. And just this idea that we need to embrace the liturgy the liturgical season and internalize it in such a way that we really live out the liturgy in the home and so we one of the things that we really wanted to try to do is discuss different ways to do that um Mm. just give some examples of of what we do not that we are at all you know by any means the the expert or end all be all um when it comes to this but it's just one of those things that um i think a lot of people 
never really thought about doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or or they even had a conversion bear and they're like you know adam dave i, I i'm all in on the catholic faith you know i i i'm turning my life around i want to you yeah. know live a virtuous life i'm striving for holiness i want to get my family to heaven how do i do that though like how do i pragmatically do this like what do mm -hmm. i do on monday to 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 get my family to heaven and so they have this idea you know we have this idea that yes we want to get our family to heaven but then it's like, okay, now you have to do it. How do I do this? How do I live liturgically in my house? How do I, you know, lead my family in prayer, like pragmatically? Everybody understands that we're the spiritual protectors of our family. Mm -hmm. every, every man understands they're the spiritual protectors of the family. Now, if I say, what does that mean? How do you exercise this authority of being the spiritual protector? You get crickets. Like, they're like, I don't. I, I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. Well, give us some traction and, in that area. What 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 should what can men do? Yeah. So I mean, the first and foremost is you you have to take care of yourself, right? You have to be a, a, a man striving for for virtue, a man striving for holiness, because you can't give what you don't have. Mm. Uh, and so you have to live out the virtuous life yourself and have a strong prayer life internally. Then you then you have yeah. to have a strong prayer life with your wife. Yeah. You and your wife have to have the, the foundation of your relationship has to be prayer life you have to be praying together before you go to bed every night there should never be a night that you guys go to bed without praying together um and then once you do that then that'll seep into your that like you're living out this life and you're giving the holy spirit room to to facilitate uh its power within the family and so then then it bleeds into just the family itself to where you can now uh pray the rosary together live live uh you know the liturgical season like like dave was saying like on the slim, here's a here's a perfect example. Solemnity of Saint Joseph. It's the year of Saint Joseph. Thanks be to God. We need Saint Joseph. Like like no nobody's business right now. But the solemnity of Saint Saint Joseph the the worker. Here's what I do on on uh, Saint Joseph's feast day. When my boys were young, I bought them a toolbox. Okay. Each year they're still young. They're still, young, are still young. But when but, but when they're about three years old, I bought them a toolbox. Each year I buy them a very nice tool to put in that toolbox. But before we put it in the toolbox, we talk about the importance of this hammer, what the hammer is used for, what is the end purpose of the hammer, why is it important to uh, start a project and finish the project, how mm -hmm. maybe St. Joseph used this hammer when, they, when he was uh, being a carpenter. And then the idea is going to be every year they add a, a tool into this toolbox to where when they get to be 18 years old, they now have 15 tools that are high quality tools. They know how to use them. They know what their purpose is. And they have, uh, they've had uh, you know, 15 years of talking about St. Joseph. So like, these are ways that you get to use and utilize, you know, the gifts that the church has given us uh, of, of the different solemnities and different feast days that we have. How do we utilize them and incorporate them in our day-to-day -day lives uh, to where they make an impact for the next generation? That's the coolest thing, and then you say, and then the, the spiritual toolbox that, that goes with it, you know, the right. different things that yeah. go with it. What about you, David? Uh, living liturgically, mm -hmm. so I think that it, this is just my own personal theory that uh, living liturgically is the best reason to just have cake more often. <laughs> okay, know? okay, okay. Let me interrupt. Interrupt you right there. Um, I, you, say no more. You're in. That, right. that, 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 that's that's the whole reason we had this this radio show today. Actually, we got to take a break. This is Bear Wozniak, the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We're talking with David Niles and Adam Minahan. You guys know them as the Catholic Man Show. And if you're not a member of the Council of Men, you know I'm a member of the Council of Men. I don't really yeah. participate. I kind of just listen in and 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 watch what's going on there. But it's just a great it's a great way to uh, support their ministry. A great way to be to j join with other men. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. That's right. Hey man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. That's right. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and 
depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to NotreDameFCU.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. Mahalo for your Kokua in supporting us. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to you, our listeners, for supporting the Bear Wozniak Adventure radio show at deepadventure.com. We would not be able to bring you our radio show with its uniquely powerful and gritty outreach without your help. You can become part of our pack. You can support our ministry by going to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak or by just going to deepadventure.com and clicking on the Patreon link and become a part of our outreach. That's deepadventure.com. Once again, mahalo for your kokua. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak Adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. You guys, we have great news. The, uh, our, our TV show, Long Ride Home with Bear Wozniak, the motorcycle TV show. It's funny, everybody thinks I'm a biker, right? Um, but really, I'm just a surfer who rides a motorcycle. But um, it's available. Of course, EWTN is airing it all the time. Uh, season three will be coming out soon, uh, where we ride our motorcycles down the tail of the dragon in uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway. But it also airs on the Armed Forces Network, which is really cool. But now we have it up on Prime Video. So the first two seasons, if you go to Prime Video and you and you search uh, Long Ride Home with Bear Wozniak, you can you can actually power watch that with your family on a cold winter weekend. And uh, and it really it's really a cool thing to do with your family or a really cool. A lot of women kind of have this way of sneakily putting that show on where their man doesn't know or their brother-in-law is there and doesn't know, what are these bikers doing? And then they, we kind of gradually draw them in. It's amazing how many men have become converted, brought, come to the Lord because of uh, Long Ride Home with Bear Wozniak. So if you want to see more of Long Ride Home, you can go to deepadventure.com and you can become a Patreon donor. And then you get, right now we have 22 episodes. Uh, only 17 so far have been our 16 have been aired on EWTN. Uh, the others are um, are the upcoming season, but you can have them right now if you uh, become a Patreon donor. You can do that at deepadventure.com. Okay, we got David Niles and Adam Minahan. Oh, man, this, uh, we're running out of time already. Uh, and I miss you guys. Like, I just want to go hang out with you guys. And uh, next time we'll have to have your wives uh, kind of come in and s- smile or something too. How many children do, do, you, ha- <laughs> do you guys have now? Uh, I have four. We both have four. Okay. Four, four so, so David, you were saying that the main reason to follow the liturgical life within the domestic church is yeah. because of cake. It's cake. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's like, it's Mary's birthday. Let's have a birthday cake. Oh, it's uh, the assumption. Well, let's celebrate it with birthday, with cake, not birthday cake, with <laughs> assumption cake. You know, uh, just to, the thing is, the Lord intended uh, like we fast so that we can feast. The feasting is really the end. It's the purpose of fasting. Amen. Um, you, know, you know, we don't, we're not masochists in the Catholic faith. We don't just love suffering just to suffer. I mean, uh, that's not really the way it's supposed to be done. Suffering is is glorious when done, when done right. It's, it's mm. truly a beautiful, only the Catholic Church has the truth to make suffering beautiful but fasting is supposed to lead us into feasting and so Mm. if we don't feast in fact in the order of importance feasting is more important than fasting Mm -hmm. because feasting is a heavenly reality Mm -hmm. fasting is an earthly reality Mm -hmm. so um there's just so many reasons in the liturgical year when you pay attention um especially if there are saints that you have devotions to if there's a you know adam He's done a great job of having a patron saint for his family. Um, oh. and, you know, the, he, he just does a good job of incorporating the saints into his family life. So if you have a devotion, celebrate their feast day. Put it on the calendar. Celebrate your baptism day um, with cake. I mean, it's like yeah, there's cake. so many. 
It's yeah. like, and especially if you have kids or dads in your house, because both of those kids and dads love cake, right? <laughs> yeah. So they'll love what you're doing. No, the, okay, and, so it's so this is it. This is the essence of ca, ca, you know, and it starts Catholic, Catholic and cake. You know, I know, I know. It was G.K. Chesterton said the pipe in the, and the uh, what is it? The pipe in the um, pint in the cross. Pint in the pipe in the cross go to all together. But he forgot cake. Well, firstly, for me, I think chocolate <laughs> cake is the sixth reason for the from Aquinas missed out for the proof of the existence of God. But you know, I, I had an interesting <laughs> conversation here the other day. I had a young man here. I met at, at Kai Coffee down here, uh, right on the beach. Where Cindy and I always go down there, and we we do we do um, the Magnificat. We read the morning. The, the, if we're not mm-hmm. going to mass, we read the prayer, the mass. We read the readings, and we always talk about it. And then I go across the street, and I do my cat, my Ocean Sunrise Catechism every morning across the street. You know, as we're going through the catechism. But there's this young guy there. I, we started talking with him. It turns out we can't really say his name, but he's a reporter for CNN, and formerly formerly worked with Fox Fox News. But just a really cool guy. He he studied comparative religion, uh, uh, studied in, in Jerusalem for several years, but just kind of uh, it was raised as an evangel as even as an evangelical. But now his mother and father are becoming Catholic, and uh, he's kind of adrift. He does he's, he doesn't know. I don't know. I I don't know if he even thinks there is a God or if there isn't a God, but he's just kind of adrift. He can't he can't find an anchor any place. So we were just talking story here, and and uh, we were having cigars and whiskey like you guys have on your Catholic Man Show. He said that's one thing I like about the Catholic Church. They know that you guys have feast days. You know how to feast, and I think it's really important, you know, to uh, to show that the freedom, the liberty of drinking in moderation and of celebrating. And that our children would know that. Oh, my children were young. I used to tell them, you know, the Lord says, make a joyful noise. And I'd get pots and pans and they'd march around the room and we would be like the, the leading the armies of Israel, you know. So living that living that liturgical life. So what, yeah. what would another thing be? Now, we're, we've only got a few more minutes. What would, would another thing be about how a man can help um, establish the domestic church in his home? Well, uh, a man, the father specifically does three things with his children. He provides, he protects, and he establishes. Um, the providing and the protecting, I think people are very familiar with those, but um, the establishing, you know, it's his job to set the tone for prayer in the house. Okay, so don't let it be, I mean, this is, I need to tell tell myself this. Uh, my wife truly is just holy, a holier person than me, but it's my job to be the one to say, hey guys, we're gonna have a family rosary, you know, mm. and not, wait for her to suggest it, you know, because that's my job. I am the spiritual leader of my household. Yes. Um, I'm the spiritual leader of my wife, you know, so it's up to us, the men and the fathers, the husbands and fathers, to be the ones to set that tone, to say, this is how it's gonna be in our family. This is the way I'm gonna lead you guys. And to be joyful about it, you know, mm-hmm. not to be uh, authoritarian and uh, a tyrant. You know, it's like, you will pray. Um, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come to that yeah. but, uh, and that is such a crucial role I mean everybody knows yeah you gotta you know men need to go and provide for their family well it's way more than money in fact money is not as important as providing spiritually uh, for your family so if, if you're skipping the spiritual work in order to do the earthly work the physical necessities then you're you're missing a bigger, more important role in your fatherhood and in your in your spousal duties. Adam, yeah, yeah. what would you say? Yeah, I mean, so so uh, as as David was saying, like we have to be the ones that sets the tone in prayer. It's like, okay, I'm gonna. How do I do that, Adam, David? How do we do that? How do we set the tone in prayer? Here's a great way to do it that that I've found out for my kids. It's worked out really well. We've already sitting down at the table. We've already prayed before dinner. We're now eating dinner. I have a whiteboard up right by my kitchen table. It's not a PowerPoint in, presentation. It is not a PowerPoint. I do not PowerPoint them to death. <laughs> but uh, but I have a whiteboard right up on my table, and I have a grid. And each uh, each person has their own section, and then mm. on top of it has what they're going to pray for and who they're going to pray through. So at the end of dinner, once we're done, then we all go through and we say, here's what I'm praying for through the intercession of this person. Here's what I'm praying for through the intercession of this person. And then we get up together, we pray together, but there's a physical reminder on there. So as the day goes on, 
they remember, oh yeah, dad needs help praying for his job. Oh yeah, dad needs help, uh, you know, making a decision. Mom needs help with this and that. And they're able to physically be reminded that they need to be praying uh, and praying for specifically what as a family, because we're a unit. Every, every family member has a duty to serve each, each one of us, each, each member of the family. And so this is a way that you can uh, cultivate a prayer life within your family that is a, a, a pragmatic way. Mm-hmm. It's, that's awesome. It's and then, that and well. then they get to see God, then they get to see God answer those prayers. Right. Yeah. yeah. You get to you get to see. I mean, it, it, there's something about being it physically written on the board where they can see it throughout the day that makes it an impact. Yeah, just kind of that pray without ceasing. Right. Mentality. It's, exactly. I remember when I was a little kid, my mom gave us all they, she called them their play rosaries. They were like children's oh, yeah. rosaries, you know, and it would mm-hmm. and we're, we don't have, it's not so serious. We were playing, you know, and I, I just remember I was probably four or five years old and <clears throat> making it real for the young people. We're talking with David Niles and Adam, you know, Adam Minahan for the Catholic Man Show and the and their 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 great face secret Facebook group, the Council of Men. You can only find them. You got to go to um, the Catholic Man Show dot com to get in touch with these guys. But, uh, you know, I miss you guys. I really do. I just would just love to hang out yeah, with man. you. You got to watch these guys on our on our. Bear Wozniak YouTube uh, platform, the video version of it. If you subscribe to our newsletter, you get it. You get it. But it was really crazy because through this whole show, Adam's been wearing a kitty cat uh, filter over his face, and David's <laughs> been wearing a puppy dog, and I've been wearing a teddy bear. It's pretty pretty cool. Just kidding. Hey, uh, we got to run, you guys. Uh, but men, uh, consider becoming part of the uh, of the Council of Men. And, uh, and, and enjoy the Catholic Man Show uh, podcast. They always review a manly beverage. And why aren't we having a man, manly beverage and a cigar right now? I don't know. No, I don't. That way you uh, invite us back again. And then oh, we can yeah. Do it. yeah. I really, truly do. I really <laughs> wish I could just hang with you guys. Uh, love you guys. This is the Bear Watson Convention. My beautiful bride just walked by again. Very distracting to do a radio show with my wife, wife here. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but you know what she did? She just sent out a bunch of merch for people who bought, the, someone bought an ammo kit, someone bought DVDs, someone bought books. So she just got back from the post office. Anyway, we love you guys. Until the next time, we, you guys know how to say, how we say aloha, right, in Hawaii. May the breath of the Holy Spirit aloha you. Aloha. aloha. Okay, hanaho, one more aloha. time. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> hey, man. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out.